Common Grounds had a packed house with more than 500 people. But the night before, Jake Scott played for a much smaller crowd. In fact, only two. A guy messaged me on Instagram and asked me if I would come play during his proposal. Swingler knew his girlfriend was a huge fan of Jake Scott, so he was determined to get the singer-songwriter to perform at his proposal. He got back to me within, I think, like two or three days and just said, dude, I want to do it. And so he put me in touch with management, and basically the deal was, you get me a show in Waco, and we'll come do the uh, engagement as well. Having great connections with Common Grounds, he was able to make the deal happen. Scotty was standing in the center with Jake behind him, who immediately started playing Tuesdays. When Ambry walked in, she just froze. <laughs> but I literally said, come on, and she just stood there, and I took a couple steps toward her and said, she just said, how did you do this? I said, this is my new friend, Jake. It was just the two lovebirds and Jake Scott. You know, I was really engrossed in Scotty and we were dancing and then it registers like Jake is here. And so we're dancing and I get to a space where I see Jake behind Scotty and I just go. <laughs> After the Waco native couple danced to Tuesdays, it was time for Swingler to get down on one knee. There was a table with flowers, a photo of us, uh, a Bible that had my name and his last name on it, so my future name, Amber Swingler, um, which made me cry even more, and then the ring. Reading scriptures at Common Grounds before their 8 a.m. classes was a crucial part to their faith-based relationship. With their engagement at this special place, their journey with Common Grounds had come full circle. For Lariat TV News, I'm Sarah Gill.